Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on holiday essential packing haul thing where basically I'm just going to show you things that I often forget to take which are essential and which can like just improve your holiday experience quite a bit. Um, I'm going on holiday tomorrow. If you didn't see my Instagram post yesterday, I'm going on a last minute holiday with James and I had to tell my YouTube fam that we're going on holiday because we're going to be doing lots of kind of holiday vlogs together and just stuff like that that I think you guys will enjoy. So I wanted to put up this video to one, let you know I'm going on holiday if you don't follow me on Instagram and two, something like this might remind you of things that could be really useful to take on holiday with you. First thing I'm going to start with is my water bottle. Anyone from the YouTube fam will know <laughs> how obsessed I am with this water bottle. It's really important to drink as much water as you can or just lots of water. Water is so good for you in so many ways and having a water bottle like this seriously makes you drink so much more and I know you're gonna think I sound like a crazy woman if you've never tried one of these bottles. If you've never tried it just don't even think about it. Go out, get one of these. This was from Primark, three pounds. They sell them everywhere. Make sure it's like a straw, um, sucky. You just you don't have to tip it or anything. You literally just one for the plane. I take this empty in my carry-on. I buy water when I get through. I put it in here and I drink it on the plane and everywhere I go. Past security again. You need to keep like emptying it and then refilling it with water because I find I buy water bottles um, and I just cannot get through them because I find like I'm drinking so much liquid. This makes it ridiculously easy um, to keep hydrated because keeping hydrated during your flight is so important. You lose a lot of water during a flight. So very important. And then also just lounging by the pool. During hot weather conditions, you lose a lot more water from your body. So you have to keep more hydrated. And it's so important. So good for you. It'll stop you looking bloated. It'll keep your water um, retention down and keep you looking leaner. So many reasons to drink it. So take it on holiday. Fill it up by the pool. Can't recommend anything more than my beloved water bottle. The next thing to talk about is moisturiser. Now, this is really important for the flight because, again, your skin dries out a lot during a flight. It's just to do with being so high in the air and loads of different things. It just dries you out. Um, and just generally, the sun and stuff on your skin all the time will dry you out. So even if you don't have a skin condition, it's good to take moisturiser. And being like myself with a skin condition with extra dry skin, uh, I suffer with eczema. I know loads of you guys that watch my channel do. Basically, I day to day at home, I use something called Double Base currently. I'm always changing it up because my skin can get really used to a moisturiser quite often and then I'll have to change it up. So my one I currently use is Double Base. Um, I love it to pieces, but it's a massive bottle. So with me this time i'm taking epiderm just because i like epiderm as a cream it's very easy to use and um, it's very hydrating different creams work for different people so just try a few out see ones which work best for you um this is the new one and it's the like it's ow <laughs> it's like a travel size bottle so this is the perfect size really for me to take um away with me on holiday um because one of these I'm not going to need for a week's holiday, you know, this is going to last me longer than a week. So one of these is perfect for um, a week's holiday. Perfect size. It says here it's good for dry skin, eczema, psoriasis. It's fragrance, colouring and SLS free, which is really good because anything with fragrance or colourings I often react to. So that's good and it's suitable for all ages, including babies. So we are good with epiderm. You need skin hydration. So don't forget moisturizer very important i always need moisturizer in my carry-on to put on my face on the plane it just dries out so much and it's just horrible feeling when my eyelids feel so dry and i just want to put some moisture on so yeah that's definitely an essential for me next thing that i always make sure i pack is a lip balm with spf this is because um, i've had a really bad experience before when i went traveling in africa i burnt my lips and it was one of the most painful things they were all crusty and just i didn't even know it was a thing that you could burn your lips but when you do you will never do it again because it's so painful and yes you will always carry a lip balm with spf um i use the mugu lip balm just because mugu uh, i've spoken about them before they are a company that produce um all like eczema friendly products for like sensitive skin friendly products and i love them they smell amazing they are amazing all their products are fab so yeah 
this is the lip balm so since i've just been talking about spf i might as well talk about sunscreen now uh i found this one in primark for three pound forty sunscreen Green, oh, is it called sunscreen sunspray you know what i mean it can be ridiculously expensive in some places so if you get annoyed about the price of sunscreen you've got a three pound 40 um spf 15 and they did spf 50 and 30 they did loads of different stuff like primark do a range of like everything i think you just get everything in primark these days but yeah three pound 40 so that's really good Mugu also do um, a range of SPF, so I'm going to be taking this one with me, which is SPF 30. I'm very into SPF, just because I used to tan myself on holiday all the time, and I used to get a sunbed before, because I don't naturally tan, like this is all fake, and I'm very, very pale, naturally. I used to get sunbeds for weeks, then tan on holiday, and it just, oh, the amount of damage that it does to my skin... I'm not into that anymore. I want my skin to stay as young and as fresh. It's already like very, very wrinkly <laughs> from my skin condition. There's creams that I use on my skin cause my skin to stretch and be really wrinkly, which is not nice to see. Sorry if that was too much information, but it is my life and that's what I have to put up with. So I want as little damage to my skin as possible. So I do tend to use things with SPF in them. This is the Mugu one, it's a natural sunscreen and that's great for if you have sensitive skin because I often do react to sunscreens. So I also have a, a SPF 50, I use always use Factor 50 on my face because that's the place you do not want to be aging. Um, and I use the baby one because it's sensitive, um, water resistant, hypoallergenic, all those kind of, it won't react to my skin. My skin won't react to it basically. So I use baby SPF on my face, I'm going to be using Mugu uh, SPF 30. And I just wanted to show you guys that there is one in Primark for £3.40. I just used to want to go on holiday only to tan. My one goal for going on holiday was to tan. If I didn't tan, I wasn't happy and I didn't enjoy the holiday. Now, I used to be obsessed with being tanned and because I couldn't find any fake tans that sitted well with my skin. Because I do have very sensitive skin, it reacts to a lot of things. And when I would put fake tan on, I used to fake tan all the time and I just used to be a constant ball of eczema and flare up and just, it wasn't nice. So when I went on holiday, it was my time to shine, it was my time to get a tan. But I have found fake tans that work for me, which has made my life so much better because I do not give a crap about tanning on holiday. This is the first, you know, within the past few months this has happened that I've decided I don't give a crap about tanning on holiday. Because I can fake it till I make it, I can look browner than I do when I try and tan on holiday. People think it's natural. Last time I went on holiday they were like, wow, you're so brown, you've only just got here. I was like, girl. Yeah. This is fake. And you keep your skin really young and natural. I was going on to say something relevant then. Um, basically, I use How Now Brown and Cow from Mugu. It is the best expert friendly fake tan. I've done a whole video on this. If you have eczema and you've never fake tan before, I know some of you have actually never fake tan before because of eczema, and you've bought this, and you've told me how good it is, and how it doesn't react to your skin. And you know what? That makes me the happiest person in the world, because this is the reason I share stuff like this with you guys, because this has changed my life. I fake tan every day and I don't have a problem and for me that makes me emotional because I love being tanned and now I have a way to be tanned. I know that's so sad but it's true. So yeah, it's this one. Uh, it's £15 on the website which I think is pretty reasonable. Anything kind of eczema friendly or sensitive skin can often be really overpriced so £15 is about the price of like a normal really good fake tan like saint or something so it's very good. I can highly recommend. You get a very dark colour which is or off, which is also rare for anything sensitive skinned. You often don't get a colour really, but this is very dark. Next thing that I've been super happy with, which I'm wearing right now, is the Saint Moritz, which is the cheaper version of Saint Tropez. I think this was two ninety nine or something. I got it in dark, and it's so dark, and I absolutely love it. And I've worn it um, for a week now, and it hasn't reacted my skin. I don't know whether that's because my skin is in a good place right now. Um, it didn't. I have been a little bit itchy and seeing a little tiny flare-up, so I probably shouldn't keep this on for too much longer, but basically I ran out of this, so I tried this out, and I was impressed. But now I'm going to go back to this, just to keep my, make sure my skin does not react whilst I'm on holiday. So yeah, Sam, Saint Moritz and Mugu, my two favourite fake tans. I roughly fake tan every two days on holiday, and I'll wear it overnight, wash it off the next day, be tanned again, next two days wear it, blah, 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 blah. Just keep yourself tanned for your photos and fake it till you make it and you're all good. This, I have gone through years and years of very bad burns on my skin because I tried to fake tan, uh, I've tried to tan in the sun and my skin does not like it when I do that. So I am very clued up about after suns and this, I cannot recommend anything to you guys more 
other than aloe vera gel. Also, you will not be left greasy. I don't know how this product works, but you rub it in and it's so silky, so soft, and then it's gone, it's dried. You do not feel it on your skin. And I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. Banana boat, aloe vera. This is the one. The next essential is dry shampoo. You do not want to get forget your dry shampoo on holiday. My hair seems to get really greasy in the sun, and I think it's because I spend a lot of time putting on my um, sunscreen, my oil, and then you're there like touching your hair, putting it up in a pony, and oil, sunscreen, touching your hair. It's not a good combination. My two favourites are the Aussie one, which is more of a high-end expensive brand, but often they do deals like three for ten pounds and stuff, so I always get them when they're on the deals. And it's I got the um, awesome volume one. If you want a cheaper version, you got Batiste. Um, I get the natural and light just because it lightens my hair even more um, and keeps looking really healthy. So those are my two faves. Don't forget one for holiday. They also do travel sizes, but they are much less value for money. So I'd recommend getting one of these and putting it in your suitcase, not your travel on. Next thing is just to mention, don't forget to take your nail varnish with you. This always happens to me. I paint my nails, they look beautiful. I get, I don't take the, the nail polish with me. Why would I? It usually lasts a week at home. You're in the pool, you're in the sea, you're doing things that are gonna be eroding your nail varnish off and it basically always chips within the first day. I like get out the pool and it chips on the side of the pool. Very annoyed that I don't have my nail colour and I have chipped nails for the rest of my holiday. So either take nail varnish remover, so you can remove it all once that happens, or take the same colour you went with on holiday. I always forget and it's very important, keep your nails looking good. I don't know why I'm saying that because my nails always look disgusting but they're looking okay today, they're looking okay. Next essential is scrunchies. Now, oh you can't see my scrunchie because it's covered by my hair, but if you watch my videos or see me on Instagram, I always wear scrunchies. But I find that scrunchies are even more important to take on holiday. Um, scrunchies I just find easy to put my hair up out of my face without it getting tangled. So um, when I've got wet hair after coming out of a pool, literally wrapping your scrunchie around your hair twice, this material is much more um, sort of comfortable on the hair. Whereas when you have wet hair, and you've got a bobble, it kind of feels like an elastic band, like, and it scrapes all bits back, and it's really uncomfortable. So, for holiday, I always take a scrunchie. Um, you can get these anywhere now, because they're really in fashion at the moment. Don't forget your earplugs. Another essential is your earplugs. If you are stuck in a very loud location of the hotel, the last thing you want is to get sleepless nights on your holiday, so don't forget your earplugs. Um, they are a dream, a dream when there is like slight background noise outside, you will just have silence and it is very good. So don't forget earplugs, just in case. I know it's unlikely, but just in case you wanna be safe, I'm not sorry. Another thing to mention is this really cool thing that I found lately, which is called Twist and Spritz. I bought it for my mum for her birthday and I bought another one for me because it was like two for 10 pounds. It was from the perfume shop. I think they sell them in quite a few perfume shops. It's like a kind of new creation thing. It's just like a mini uh, bottle almost for a five day, a four day, five day, ten day, two week holiday. You do not need a whole hundred milliliters, fifty milliliters of perfume. They are heavy. They take up room. They are clunky. You don't need that much room taken up in your bag, um, especially with baggage costing so much if you go over. Something like this is a lifesaver because you just <laughs> suck up your favorite perfume, spray it. So yeah, it's like this. You basically, it has that little um, hole at the bottom, you stick it on, it sucks up your perfume, your twist, oh, I get that's why it says now twist and spritz, because then you spray, and it's just like perfume. So yeah, it's like a little travel bottle for your perfume without having to buy a mini bottle of your perfume. So you can buy in bulk. Ah, that's cool. You can buy in bulk, save loads of money, because the smaller bottles are way more expensive. You buy like the 100 milliliter one when it's on offer, and then take get loads of these and take it everywhere with you. Love it. Okay, and the last thing to mention is just a beach throwover, just because I always pack loads of nice clothes for holidays. I pack cute shorts, cute tops, cute dresses, nice outfits, shoes, trainers. The only thing I wear is bikinis and my beach throw. That is the basically the only thing I wear. And then some things I wear in the evening. There is nothing more important on a holiday than a beach throw. I got this one from Primark and it's pretty grubby if I'm honest because I've worn it so often and obviously I wear fake tan on holiday so it does go quite grubby and I think I've worn it for like two years on every holiday so I am due a new one. 
but basically it's just, uh, it comes in at the waist, it's so comfy, and I know they have these, they have this again this year in Primark, they have it every year in Primark, I think it's like £8 or something, um, it's a very soft material, um, I basically live in it on holiday, um, it comes in, it's like a little dress, and it's just really, really nice, it's perfect for wearing all the time on holiday basically. And don't forget your slip on shoes. Very important, by the pool, by the beach, you need to slip on shoes. So that is everything done for this haul. Um, it was just like a kind of random video just about certain things that you might forget that you need on holiday. Um, if you find it helpful, leave me a comment below and please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to interact with the videos guys because you know YouTube's gonna be unsubscribing y'all if you're not interacting because just when is that gonna stop? It's really annoying. People are still getting unsubscribed um, if you're not commenting or liking. It's just so frustrating. Uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe uh, to see more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I will keep you updated on my Instagram about my holiday and I will be for sure filming vlogs with James about the holiday and I love you very much and thank you for watching. Mwah.